Welcome back to our series on interactive read-alouds. So far, we've talked about what is an interactive read-aloud, how to plan one, and how to choose a book for your interactive read-aloud. Today, I had planned to talk about both the questions that you can ask during the interactive read-aloud, as well as some engagement strategies, but that was going to be way too long of a video. So this week, we're going to talk about questions that you can ask, and then next week, we're going to extend our series one more week and discuss different engagement strategies you can use during your interactive read aloud. Today, let's talk about the questions that you can ask. This is a great way to engage students as you are reading, and it helps make sure that they are understanding the story and that they're paying attention as you're reading. But it can be kind of difficult to come up with meaningful questions. You really want to have that balance of asking the questions, but making sure that you don't interrupt the flow of the story. Because if you're asking too many, students are going to get lost and confused and not be paying attention anymore. So it's really important that you plan these questions out ahead of time. We're going to talk about how to plan them, what types of questions you can ask, and why it's important to be asking these types of questions. So back in our video about planning your read aloud, I talked about how you want to read the book through first and get to know it and really love the book. By reading it through first, think about where you pause as the reader, and that's gonna be where you pause to ask your students questions. Those natural pauses are going to be what prompt you to ask your students questions at that point. So planning your questions for your interactive read aloud. It's really beneficial for many reasons that you plan them out ahead of time. By doing so, you're really planning for your students' needs and focusing on that. And then while you're reading, it frees you up to enjoy the book rather than have to be constantly thinking about what questions you're gonna ask and when you're going to pause or even forgetting to stop and ask questions. I know sometimes when I'm reading a book aloud, I get on a roll and I realize I've gone through the whole book without asking any questions. So by planning them out ahead of time, and I even print them on sticky notes and stick them right in the book so that they're right there for me to see and I don't have to worry about remembering them or having an extra piece of paper. It's right there, right where I need it, when I need it. And by targeting these questions and thinking about them ahead of time, it's going to ensure that your read aloud lesson goes much more smoothly. So some aspects to consider when planning these questions would be, what are some good places to stop reading? Where do I need to stop to allow students to think and talk about the meaning of the text? Are the questions rigorous enough? How relevant are they to both the story and the strategy or skill that I'm trying to teach? And what do I need my students to critically think about in this particular text? So there are a couple different types of questions that we can ask students. Let's go through those four different types. There are factual questions, inferential, opinion-based questions, and questions that allow students to make a connection. Let's break down each one of those. Factual questions prompt students to recall information that was specifically stated in the text. It's specific information about the book. It's asking them to recall specific information about the book that we just read. Who are the characters? What is the setting? Those are factual questions. And we're probably not gonna use a lot of these in an interactive read aloud. And we'll talk about that a little bit more at the end of this video. Next, we have inferential questions. And this asks students to read between the lines, to figure out what the author is trying to tell us, but isn't specifically stated in the book. Such as, how do you know something is happening? Or why did the character do this? Those are different types of inferential questions. The next two type of questions are where you're going to really engage your students. Opinion questions are basically that, your student's opinion on what is happening in the story. This really gives them the opportunity to share their own thoughts about what's happening in the story. So what do you think about what this character did? Or what do you think is going to happen next? Those are different types of opinion questions. And last, asking students to make a connection to the story. This is where they're really going to internalize the book 
in the skills and strategies that you're teaching. They're going to think about their own experiences or other books that they have read and connect it to what's going on in the interactive read aloud at the moment. So for example, has this ever happened to you? Or does this make you think of another book? These are all great types of questions to ask your students during an interactive read aloud. And a crucial part of the interactive read aloud is student responsiveness. So as I mentioned before, we're not really going to use factual questions in this type of teaching. Oftentimes we use a direct approach to questions looking for students to give us the right answer. But instead it's important to use a responsive approach. With this type, we are asking students to say more, to figure out ideas on their own with our guidance. And by responding to students' questions or comments with almost their own words, it encourages them to elaborate on what they've already said. Instead of trying to process your words and figure out the right answer, they're really sharing their thinking and developing it more. It helps them make those deeper connections and creates more complex thinking ensuring that they get so much more out of an interactive read aloud. This also really encourages participation. When students know that there's not a right answer, but that they get to share their own thoughts, it really gets them excited to engage in the story and in the conversation that you're having as a class. So as you can see, it's really important to be asking questions during an interactive read aloud there are different types of ways that it can be done. And planning them out ahead of time is crucial, even though it may take a little extra time. You'll get so much more, and your students will get so much more out of the interactive read aloud if those questions are planned out ahead of time. And as I mentioned before, next week we're gonna be talking about engagement strategies that you can use in an interactive read aloud to really bring the book to life for students. So if this video was helpful for you, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button down below because I'll be back on Sunday night with read aloud tips and book ideas that you can use in your classroom as well as next Thursday to continue our interactive read aloud series. Have a great week.